Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the KB Shimmer Seeing is Believing collection for spring 2024. There are nine polishes here all together. I will link the KB Shimmer website down below where you guys can check these out. I also have comparisons after the swatches with some other KB Shimmer shades. So nine polishes all together and I'll get into the swatches. So KB Shimmer is a brand that has all of their polishes come in a box. So here is what those look like. The first polish is called What a Pearl Wants, and this is described as a white iridescent microflake. I am swatching this here on its own, but I do also have some clips of it used as a topper. It's sheer. The formula is very good, and it's very even, so it also makes an excellent topper. This is in a clear base, but it's absolutely packed with flakies, which makes it build up really easily and actually come out almost completely opaque by the time you get to that third coat. The flakies are very shifty, very cool, and they won't act like a glitter, so it's not not going to be super textured and it's not going to be difficult to remove. So that is three coats of What a Pearl Wants on its own. Here it is over black so you can see that shift a little bit better. I actually added a matte top coat to this black swatch but it didn't really change much. It didn't pick up on camera super well so I ended up scrapping it. And here it is over a couple of other colors that were just on my desk. I think these are from the Ulta exclusive Essie collection that just came out. And then, of course, also I had to put matte top coat on those because I love putting matte top coat on any kind of flaky. The next polish is called It Comes in Waves, and this is described as a light minty green cream with light aqua undertones. Good formula here, great coverage, it's very opaque, it's not quite a one coater, but it is close. It was just a teeny bit patchy for me in some spots, but it did build up totally fine for me in two coats, and it also did dry a little bit dull, and it levels itself out very nicely as well. So that is two coats of It Comes in Waves. The next polish is called Superstar, and this is described as a glitter topper with sea star shaped silver holographic glitter, a shimmery green to purple base, and then small holographic hex glitters in pink, blue, purple, and silver. And I am swatching this over It Comes in Waves. So the formula on this is really good. It's not thick at all, which is great when you have a really chunky glitter. Because it's such a chunky glitter, you can't really just swipe it on normally. You have to take the brush and kind of dab and manipulate and place things where you want them, especially those large glitters, which are very starfish shaped. They're not like a normal star glitter. They have more curved and rounded arms on them. And this is going to dry chunky and textured and be more difficult to remove. You can smooth it out with a product. KB Shimmer has one called Smooth Moves, which is like you put it on and then you put your top coat over top of that. It just adds kind of an extra layer of smoothing for those chunkier glitters. So that is one coat of Superstar. The next polish is called Dressed to Krill, and this is described as a vibrant, shifting fuchsia with violet shimmer. This is a bit sheer on the first coat, and it's a little bit uneven for me, but overall the formula feels pretty good. The shimmer stands out really nicely. It's one of those kind of glows from underneath style shimmers, which looks a little bit more subtle in indoor lighting, but then will really pop out in the sunlight. It evened out and covered really well on the second coat, but I was just curious to see what it would look like in three, and I do think I like this better in three coats. It didn't need it for coverage, but the color is so much more vibrant with that third coat. So that is three coats of Dress to Krill. The next polish is called Seeing is Believing, and this is described as a pale lavender microflake with prismatic shift. It's like the pale purpley version of what a pearl wants. So this is so sparkly and so beautiful, and it's not too thick at all, even though it's absolutely packed with flakies. It was a bit sheer here on the first coat, but it built up and covered really well in two coats. I ended up doing three because I felt like if I looked at certain angles, I could still see a little bit of nail line, but I don't think that the third coat changed it enough to need to do a third coat. I wore this one, I still have it on now, but I wore this one over the weekend and I only did two coats to wear it. You might need three just depending on the length of your nails and your preferences and the thickness of your coats and all of that, but I think most people will probably be okay with two. But on camera here, that is three coats of Seeing is Believing. The next polish is called Shall We, and this is described as a muted beige reflective with copper to rust to gold shifting shimmer. So this is a little bit sheer on the first coat. It is absolutely packed with glitter. It's not thick at all, which is great. I do think this is one that will thicken up 
quickly with use if you're not storing it properly, which is making sure that the lid is on very tight and that you are getting all of that glitter off of the threads of the bottle. It built up really well in two coats. These dry very, very textured, almost like a Zoya Pixie Dust would dry, so you will definitely need a good smoothing top coat. And if you don't use something like a peel off base coat or soak this off with some acetone, like put some acetone on a cotton pad and just kind of stick it on your nail for a little while, this is going to be really difficult to remove because reflective glitter in general, but the KB Shimmer ones especially, I feel like are notoriously difficult to remove. So that is two coats of Shall We? The next polish is called Get Off My Tail, and this is described as a bold grape base with a sea green shifting shimmer, uh, teal, blue, and indigo shift. It also has little holographic microflakes. Great formula on this one. It's very opaque. It has a ton of those microflakies in it. The shimmer stands out really, really nicely. It's a nice contrast to that purple base. This built up really well for me in two coats. It was a really solid two coater. And there are some, I mean, you can kind of barely see some brush strokes through that shimmer when it's wet, but those do chill out as it dries. And those little flakies will lay nice and flat. It will not be difficult to remove. So that is two coats of Get Off My Tail. The next polish is called Current Affairs, and this is described as a vibrant Caribbean blue, an ultramarine blue base with aqua hues and a scattering of hollow glow flakies. The descriptions are very involved, and I have to figure out how to summarize. This is the same formula as Get Off My Tail, so nicely opaque on that first coat. The shimmer stands out really nicely. It's absolutely packed with flakies. And those teeny tiny brush strokes that you see will melt in completely. It did cover all the way for me in two coats. And again, those flakies will lay nice and flat. So that is two coats of Current Affairs. And the last polish is called I'll Be There. And this is described as a teal leaning cerulean blue jelly loaded with a mix of color shifting flakies. Good formula on this. There are a ton of those flakies in there, but it's not thick at all. I did find the base to be a little bit streaky on the first coat, but it built up and evened out just fine in the second coat. The second coat deepened the color, built those flakies up a bit and covered my nail line completely. You will get a slight, slight, visible texture from those flakies, but it'll be easy to smooth out with just your normal top coat and it won't be difficult to remove. So that is two coats of I'll Be There. So starting out for comparisons, the first one that I have is What A Pearl Wants. I pulled Frequent Flyer, this is What A Pearl Wants here, and then You Do You over the white can't really see too much. Frequent Flyer has a much finer shimmer. It doesn't have that really broken up kind of flaky built up flaky look to it. And then You Do You practically looks like nothing because it's just a very light shifty shimmer. So no comparisons here on their own. I do like that you can wear What A Pearl Wants either way. Here I have the three of them over black and they look even more different here. Frequent Flyer has a very, very green multi-chrome shift to it. What A Pearl Wants has that like red to green shift. And then again, You Do You is just a totally different kind of shifty like glaze shimmer, much lighter and really just not comparable at all. Next I have It Comes In Waves, which is this middle one here. I have In Yacht Water over here, which is much more blue. And then I have Happy Camper over here, which is also more blue, but I guess kind of the middle ground between these two. So nothing close there. I'm surprised that I didn't have anything closer than this, but I guess KB Shimmer hasn't done creams much and they haven't done creams in a while, at least like a full cream collection that would have a slightly less common color like this in it. If I had a pink or something, I think I could probably get closer within KB Shimmer, but not with a shade like this. Superstar here, I didn't have anything even remotely close to this one. It's hard to dupe glitter mixes like this or even compare glitter mixes like this because the unique shape and the background shimmer and the different colors and shapes just make them all wildly different from each other. Next I have Dressed to Krill, which is gonna be these two here. The first one that I have is Meltdown. This is similar, it's a little bit lighter. The shimmer that's in here doesn't have that same kind of like bluey violet glow to it. And this one is a little bit more broken up, slightly more shimmery and not quite as smooth as Dressed to Krill is. Next here I have C'est La Vie. Okay, so a couple of things. This is actually Slay La Vie, I read that wrong, and this is also a thermal. So this shifts from a lighter pink to a medium pink to a purple. This is darker and it has a stronger blue shimmer that comes out a little bit better. Then here I have I Don't Want No Shrubs. This is a little bit lighter, kind of a creamier pink, and then it also has 
the slightly larger, more broken up gold shimmer to it. So these two are kind of close, but nothing super comparable. Okay, next I have Seeing is Believing. That's gonna be this one and this one right here. The first one that I have is Just the Coolest. This is kind of close. It has the similar pink shimmer, the similar kind of broken up, built up flake finish to it. This one just leans more of like a lighter icy blue where Seeing is Believing leans more purple, although it does look a little bit more blue on camera. And it's hard to nail down even blue and purple because these shift so much depending on the lighting. So next to that I have Simply Irresistible. This one is also more purple. It's darker, gold shimmer, holographic flakies, and doesn't, I mean it actually does look like it has a similar kind of broken up finish, but not quite, not quite the same thing. Seeing is bleeding again. And then this is Grand Finale. This is a polish pickup polish from 2022. This is very smooth, very purple gold shimmer. Nothing comparable there either. So I have Shell We here in the middle. This one is It's Under the Sauce. I also forgot to mention that this is a VIP bag exclusive from Polish and Beauty Expo in 2022. This is not a reflective glitter, but it does kind of have that similar look when you're not in the bright direct lights. It's a similar color, maybe a little bit darker, it has a similar shimmer. This shimmer here almost leans a little bit more orange where this one leans slightly more pink, but they are like relatively close. But again, it's under the sauce, doesn't have that reflective glitter to it. And then over here is all that glimmers, and this is very dark, reddy brown. Really the only thing close here is that it has reflective glitter. So kind of close here if you're not into the reflective glitter or if you have this one or wanted this one, that these are similar-ish. So for Get Off My Tail, which is this one and the next one, I actually have so many that I broke it up into two sections. So for this first little section here, Get Off My Tail is gonna be these three. This first one is Licensed to Ill. This was a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive from 2022. So this is darker with a gold shimmer and has a slightly smaller scattered holographic to it. So nothing super close there. This is worth a shot. This is smoother, kind of a greeny gold shimmer to it and is a lighter purple. So this one is Spatial Edition. This is a magnetic. I didn't magnetize this because this isn't magnetic. So why would I do that? Um, but this is darker, very blue. Nothing comparable there. And this is I Cat Even, which is a very deep navy blue holographic. So again, nothing super close. For the next round, I have a Get Off My Tail here, here, and here again. This one is Sunset In My Ways. This is the polish pickup polish from this past December. This is also not close, it's more blue. That pink shimmer is super bright and doesn't have those larger holographic flakies. This one is Before and Aster, also blue, not purple, with that same pink shimmer that's actually in Sunset in My Ways. This one here is Ready to Throw Down. This is also a magnetic that I did not magnetize. This comes off a very deep, like, multi-chrome. They do have the same holographic flakies, so there aren't as many in this one but again, not super close. And then this is Apple Dapple Dew. This is also a polish pickup polish from last year. This is also a magnetic, um, but again, not close. This is kind of your like traditional multi-chrome kind of purple to red shade with just a slight dusting of a scattered holographic. So no dupes here. So for current affairs, I have two rounds here as well. This first one is No Wave. This leans a bit more teal and has a slightly more blue shimmer, which is funny because Current Affairs has a slightly more teal shimmer, so they kind of swapped base colors and shimmers here. Otherwise, they are similar in finish, just not in color. This one is Cool Beans. This looks very, very green in the bottle to me, but then very blue on the swatch. It's a very shifty shimmer. Close-ish, I guess, in tone, but that green gold shimmer makes it a totally different polish. This one is Put a Ring on it. Again, a similar finish. It's got those holographic flakies and it has like a very similar shimmer to it also but this one also leans a little bit more teal and then this is lilac it or not this is also that same kind of finish this doesn't have as strong of a contrasting shimmer but it does have the same holographic flakies that are in there and pretty much the same amount of them as well but even though these are all very close the different shimmers and things the different elements kind of make them not super comparable but they all are in the same family. Cousins, I guess. So again, current affairs here, here, and here. This first one is Why So Serious. Again, same finish, doesn't have a strong of a shimmer and a much darker blue, but overall it's that same 
scattered holographic flake finish. This one is Better Lake Than Never. Again, same finish, just a deeper color that leans a little bit more green and not quite as strong of a shimmer. This is Along for the Tide. Not comparable here. It doesn't have the holographic flakies. It doesn't have the same contrasting shimmer. This has like a slight pink shimmer to it, but overall this is kind of like a very muted holographic almost with a slight pink shimmer to it. And then this one is The Tide is Right, which again is very smooth, very chrome, not super comparable there either. Although, I think if you put little holographic flakies in this, it might be close. I wonder if I have a topper. I'm gonna grab a little holographic flaky topper and see if we can make these match. Okay, don't come for me. This is the only one that I knew for sure that I had that I could think of off the top of my head and that I knew where it was. So I'm not dropping any hints here. This is the only flaky topper that has those same flakies in it. I know I have other ones. I know other brands have made them, but again, this is just the first one that I thought of. So I'm not dropping hints. I'm sorry. Not in the cards for me right now, but I'm going to put this over top of The Tide is Right and see what happens. Okay, that honestly didn't do as much as I thought. Maybe with a couple more coats, but I think the color is still going to be pretty different. And I know that was completely pointless to the rest of the video. I just really wanted to see what would happen there. So, moving on. So, lastly, I have I'll Be There, which is going to be here here and here. So the first one that I have here is Freeze the Day. This has similar flakies. They're similar in like they're the same kind of flakies, like same material and they kind of look the same, but they're not the same color. This has the green gold shifting flakies. These ones are almost like pink and much more metallic looking and obviously totally different color. This is Soul Blue. This has a holographic shimmer throughout it, which makes it very different, but very similar flakies. I think this has the green gold ones, but then it also has like a pink one in there as well. This is Ready for This Jelly, which slightly different flakies, not as dense, different base color. And this one is, what is this? This is Spell Check. This is much deeper, different flakies. Flakies aren't as dense, um, nothing super close. Here, I would say this is probably the closest. But again, nothing identical. So seeing is believing is by far my favorite. It's the one that I'm wearing today. Like I actually picked it out to wear it outside of just filming purposes. So really, really like this one. I like the shifty shimmer. It looks completely different depending on what lighting you're looking at it in. It will look like a completely different color. Very, very cool. It really catches the light and sparkles and shines. I like this one a lot. So that is the KB Shimmer Seeing is Believing collection. Again, I will link the KB Shimmer website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.